Hello guys and welcome to this new Grease Pencil Rigging tutorial in which we will learn how to use Mixamo animations on our Stickman Rig that we made on two videos and that you can also buy from my Gumroad for a small fee if you don't want the hustle of rigging it from scratch. That would be also a good way to support the free content on this channel. Thank you very much. So we have our Rigify Rig here. Let's make sure on this section here that our three collections are all visible and all bones are visible that we need. These ones are not used for animations and you can keep them hidden so go here we go to pause mode control tab select on the bones a and then we do alt g to reset location alt r to reset rotation and alt s to reset scale let's remove this action we don't need it anymore and let's hide our rigify rig and and hide our original armature that we use to generate our rigify now let's select our stroke that is the grease pencil character let's do tab to go to edit mode and let's do some adjustments here we start with the legs so we select one leg and then while hovering over it we do l to select all its points then we do r and rotate it like this and move it a little bit up make sure that the extremity is on the x-axis or a little bit over it we do the same for the other leg so we select left click and then l and then we rotate and we try to add some manual symmetry since we can't use symmetry here with grease pencil now let's select the upper parts let's select one of these so that we deselect the leg and then we do l by hovering over it and then l again here l again here and l again here and move these up g z and move them up I guess here is good, maybe a little bit down. Now back to the leg, let's select the extremity here, the upper extremity, and then select proportional editing. Go here to this arrow and select connected only, enable it. This is a trick that I don't know why I missed using before, and it will allow us to transform this guy with proportional editing enabled without affecting the other strokes. So we do she and x and move it a little bit here turn the mouse wheel so that we increase the influence and we get this effect here we are still moving on the x i think this is good we do the same here we select the extreme point and then g x and with the same size of our influence circle we move it here and we create a little bit of symmetry left click and done now we go up we select one arm l select it on and rotate it with r let's disable proportional intent o rotate with r make it horizontal we want to make a T pause and then move with G and try not to stick it with the head. Keep it a little bit down. I think this is good. And we do the same here. Left click, L, R to rotate, G and move it here now we select our armor tab to go to edit mode now we select one bone here it's the same we did with the, the grease pencil object then we do l to select the whole arm we should enable x so that our transformations here will reflect to the other side so r rotate it make it horizontal move it up here and now this bend here the slight bend i don't want it to look to the bottom but to the back so we do r x and rotate it 90 degrees and now we check if the bend is correctly set to the back and not to the front and yes here it is zero or one and then you select one bone from the leg and do l while hovering r to rotate it and now we want this bend to be on the front so we do r z this time and 90 degrees let's go to the side three so you see that the bend looks to the back so control z and then again r z and minus 90 degrees center and voila one again or zero and let's move this ball here and these two g and move them here and this one maybe here try to select double x-ray here and select this ball can i select it maybe you can hide these temporarily so select shift select h and select this one g z move it up alt h select this ball again and g z and move it a little bit down let's select these two balls and g z move them here maybe this one this ball g z and move it a little bit up let's select our stroke again and we are still here in edit mode let's select all the points let's use the annotation tool left click and hold select annotation line in and we select arrow let's add arrows to just one side so to this point one arrow here to this point one arrow here to this point here I think here we are good. The balls are almost in the center. I think we don't need to add arrows here. Now we select back the armature. Tab to go again to edit mode. And the X is still enabled. So we select this ball, G, X, and move it a little bit to go with the arrow. And then this ball, G, X, and move it here. The center of the body, G, 
Z this time and move it here. And we should be good here. Again, in this panel, object data properties go down and regenerate rig. Very nice. Hide our armature. I want to add my IK bones to a special collection. So let's go up. Let's add a new collection. Let's move it up under FK and name it IK. And then we select this bone. We need to be, of course, in pose mode. So control tab. This bone shift selects these, this arrows bone. Shift select this one. Shift select this one. Go down, shift select this one, shift select this one, and then shift select, shift select. And with IK selected, we do assign and we hide the collection. Maybe we can select our grease pencil objects and delete our annotation. I think we go here under notes and we do the minus sign. Yes, no more arrows. And back to objects mode. Now we can import our Mixamo animation. To download Mixamo animations, you go to mixamo.com, log in with your Adobe account, then go to the animations tab here, and you choose any animation. You can choose a category too, maybe superhero, and then maybe flying. There are no flying animations, but I like this one. So let's select it and then you go to download frames per second. I choose 24, but you choose whatever you're using in your animation. Skin without skin, we only need the animation, which will download the armature and the animation. And then you hit download and it starts downloading your FBX. So I have some FBX files that I downloaded from Mixamo. We go to import and look for FBX. There is nothing. So we go to edit preferences add-ons type in fbx enable the import export fbx format and again file imports fbx we go to our folder i will select catwalk import fbx and now if you hit spacebar we have this animation and we have this new rig let's change the frames to 88 to have a loop let's go back to frame one shift left arrow this will be a very important armature i will name it mixamo and we will modify this armature and keep it forever to use it as a proxy between our new animations and our rigify rig so with this mixamo rig selected we change here from pause position to rest position Let's do one and let's go to edit mode, tap, and we can delete the bones that we don't use for our stick man. First, we don't need the neck. X, B, we keep only two bones from the spine. We keep this one, the hips, and spine one. So we select this one, shift select this one, and X, B. Then we delete the shoulder bones, select, shift select, X, B. And then let's do seven. Let's hide our rigify rig. Let's select these bones, shift select, shift select, shift select, shift select, X, B. Go to the other side, select, shift select, shift select, shift select, shift select, X, B. Okay, we don't need this bone. Select it, shift box, select these two, X, B. Now to these guys, so select. And then shift select, shift select. We don't need the feet and the toes, X, B. And let's enable in front so you can see our bones clearly and now we can unhide our original armature and we we'll start fitting the bones if you enable x and try to move these bones on the side you see that symmetry doesn't work it's a sad thing with mixamo rigs we will have to adapt so we fit this one here this bone select this ball fit it here this bone here let's fit it here again move these guys here select this ball g select this bone g and move it here and now to this bone, move it up, G, Z, to the center here, select this ball, G, Z, and move it up. Now do the same here, select this bone, G, Z, move it here to the spawn, select this ball, G, Z, and move it up here. Maybe select this ball again, G, Z, and move it here. Nice. Maybe we can snap it to enable snapping to vertex and select the whole bone. Put the cursor across to this ball, and then G, and move it here. Yes, it snaps. Now select this ball, G, Z, and move it up here. Let's disable snapping. Let's select this ball, move it to this ball, this one to this one. So these two, we move them here. And these two, we move them here. This one, move it here. And this one, move it here. And now we go to the side, three. Maybe you can hide these two bones, H3, and try to fit, select one of them and try to move it and fit it to its, now to select both G and, yes, they are good. Alt H, and this time we hide these two, H against three and these two, let's move them like this and then select both and try to fit them to the spawn, let's do one again, let's do Alt H, and I think we are good. Maybe we can adjust these ones in the original armature, let's go here to edit mode by clicking on this dot and selecting these two. Select, shift select, three, G, move them here. 
Now back to our Mixamo rig and you see these arms, let's select both arms, let's do L and then L here, 3G Y. I think it's here so let's go to object mode let's enable pause position again and try to make it work again and see that it's a little bit floating over the ground and like the rest position that is more down here as you can see since we are in object mode let's go to frame one do three here we can't see the ground but if we enable the rig armature we have the root bone that is on the ground and use it as a guide. So with the mix armor rig selected, we do G, Z and we down like this. And now if we animate again, now it is walking on the ground. Now we need to copy the animation for Mixamo to rigify. And for that we use a free blender add-on called Rococo. Since both rigs have different bone structures and names, the add-on will help us do what's known as retargeting. You can get the Rococo blender plugin from rococo.com. Install it, enable it of course, let's look for it. Sometimes, for me at least, it didn't work until I clicked on this button and installed the beta version. And after installing and enabling it you will find the plugin settings on the sidebar so you hit in and you find rococo here with all your settings the first time you will need to sign in so you click a button that gets you to your web browser to sign in and then you get your license as you can see here rococo id and now we can go to our rococo plugin settings go to retargeting select the source it will be the mixamo rig and the target it will be our rigify rig and there we have this button build bone list and you see here that we have all these bones so after we deleted the bones that we don't need they are still showing here so let's do ctrl z in the dop sheet or the action editor we see that even though we deleted the bones that we don't need the animation channels or the frames weren't deleted i don't seem to see everything so let's go to pose mode let's select all the bones we deleted spine and spine too. Spine, control select spine too. Delete, we don't need the neck. Delete the shoulder. Delete or X. Enlarge this a little bit so we see the whole names. Left forearm, left hand, and then we have the fingers. So select, shift select, thumb, index, middle, the scroll, ring, pinky, and shoulder. Delete everything. And then we have, again, thumb, index, middle, ring, Pinky, delete everything. Up leg, leg. Up leg is the thigh and the leg is the lower leg. Foot, we don't need it. Delete. Toe base, X to delete. And these are the ones, I guess. And again, we do build bone list. And we have this. Since they are in similar locations, everything seems to be okay here. The tummy is with the hips. The chest is with spine one. The head is with the head. We have FK left arm and we have that here too. Now we go here and we have auto scale enabled. I didn't see much difference between disabling and enabling this. Let's just enable it. And here use pause. We choose rest and we try retarget animation. And we have this, this weird stretching. And this is caused by the IK bones. So let's select our rig armature. Go to pose mode. We just select one of the arms bones here. We go to item and then down here to IK to FK. And we change this to one and the stretching is gone here. Then we select this arm and we do the same here. Zero to one. Then to the legs, we select one leg, one and other leg here to one. So I think we are good. So let's try to animate spacebar. And we have this and see that it works after a fashion but here when he does the turn there is this weird animation so go here you see that yes it's the upper spine bone that turns in a weird direction here so to fix this we need to select the chest bone mm -hmm, this one yes chest and we go to here to bone constraints and you can either disable the constraints or change the influence to zero I like to change the influence. If we need it again, you can keyframe it here and change it back to one. Maybe if we want to transition from this animation to another animation in which we need this copy rotation. It may be needed when we do manual animation, but here everything is baked and everything is pre-made. So let's try to animate again. And the catwalk works perfectly. And even the legs are on the ground and not up like in the initial animation. Let's rename this our action. We rename it to stick catwalk. So now let's import another animation. Let's go to File, Imports, FBX again, and we choose Hip Hop Dancing, Import FBX, and we have this animation. 
N and go to Rococo again. And this time we change from this new armature. So armature 001 as the source to the target that is the Mixamo. The Mixamo animation will be the middleman between this rig and our rigify rig so we do a build bone list and we check if all the bones are right so you have this slider and you have this bigger slider this one goes down like this and this one goes down with the bone list so hips is okay spine is wrong cut this Control x escape and press it here enter let's delete the game from here and then spine 2 neck head is okay right arm is okay right forearm is okay right hand is okay the left arm the left forearm the left hand the right up leg the right leg and auto scale enabled rest position enabled and we do retarget animation and to hide this guy we can delete our armature 001 now and you see that we have the yes the hip-hop dancing in our mix sample space bar stop let's see if our legs are on the ground yeah they seem okay great and again retargeting which shows mixamo as the source this time and the targets our rigify rig then we built the bone list everything should be okay let's check auto scale enabled rest position enabled and retarget animation and to hide this guy let's rename this one to stick hip hop dance enter we can select our mixamo and delete this action first we disable the fake user and then remove it so now we get zero user and it will be deleted when we close our blender file one of the problems of this process is that you can create a lot of useless actions and you get a lot of junk here so renaming your actions like this and adding fake users to them so that you don't lose them and then getting rid of these actions here maybe a good practice you can go here to this icon here the display mode and change from view layer to blender file and go here under actions and here also you can delete the actions that you don't need and clean up your files let's go back to view layer and now we can test our animation so space bar and we have this what a nice and amazing shit so <laughs> let's select our like amateur again and i think that the loop will end at frame 415 play again and we have this let's go to camera view and let's disable overlays. So thanks for watching. You can buy the improved rig ready for Mixamo animations from my Gumroad. It's a great way to support the free content on this channel. Thank you for watching. See you in another video and peace.